Hi, this is Dodger, and you're watching my show. So I know that there are like four and a half of you who actually pay attention to the World of Warcraft movie news, but like two weeks ago they were like, okay, Oh wait, where are my glasses? The newest director walked off of the project, so I think it's about time that we just let it die. Well, if your heartstrings haven't been pulled enough by this entire debacle that's been going on since I started this show, they are bringing it back up. It's back on, they have a new director, and the writer is actually the same writer who wrote Blood Diamond. So I'm not concerned about the writing. I think that the writing would probably actually wind up being really good. But considering that they keep flip-flopping directors, I just don't know if the concept is going to be solidified by the time they actually make this movie. Show Morrow, Lady Sylvanas. 2012. Any of you who are fans of Bennett Foddy, he has a new game out called Clop. His other games are very well known. They're called Qop and Gurp, both of which have done really well in Indie Game Awards and have uh, united the community to think that running is hilarious. So this new game, you're a unicorn and you're trying to run rather than a runner trying to run. I was kind of disappointed that it was another running game. I was like, okay, you're you're just reusing ideas now, like, Q-Op did really well and now you're just doing another running game and yay, you're a unicorn, but whatever. I was dead wrong. This game is just as fun and just as ridiculous. There are more obstacles, although the actual running part of it is a bit easier to do. It's still... D difficult. I will link you guys in the description so that you can go ahead and play that. I know that I'm going to be playing it some more because it's just... It's just ridiculous. Any of you who are at the QuakeCon keynote for John Carmack, you might have heard a little bit about Doom 4 that's kind of exciting. Sadly, you didn't actually get to see Doom 4. They didn't show any gameplay or anything, but they did show fans that they were pretty committed to it. They're actually giving up on a lot of projects, or at least setting them off to the side for a while until they can finish their bigger projects like Doom 4. Wolfenstein, Rage, all of the other mobile games that they've been working on are going to be set aside at the very least until they finish Doom 3 BFG and Doom 4, and I think that once Doom 3 is done, the entire team will just be working on Doom 4. So it's definitely gonna happen. They did say it's done when it's done, which I actually prefer. I feel like for me, Doom 4 is one of those out of sight, out of mind sort of scenarios. I don't even think about it until I see news about it, and then I go, oh yeah, that's a, that's a thing that's happening. That's cool. I used to watch my brother play the Doom games all the time. I was too scared to play them myself, but I would like sit next to him while he was playing. And then when I would see monsters, I would scream so loudly in his ear to the point where he literally kicked me out of the office. Looking at the games now, I'm like, oh, Tiny Dodger, what, what was it about that game that you found scary? Cause it ain't scary at all, but child brains, man. Last piece of news and also having to do with QuakeCon, if you pre-order Dishonored, while QuakeCon is going on, so that's until the 5th, so you have two days, two and a half days, depending on when you watch this and where you are, but if you pre-order Dishonored ahead of time, you also get Arx Fatalis, which is an older IP from Arcane. They showed some new screenshots and things at QuakeCon for Dishonored, so if you're excited about that game. Also, they put out a cast list for their voice actors, and they're incredible. They have so many amazing voice actors. I keep getting more and more excited for this game, so, knowing that I could pre-order it now, and maybe get another game from the same studio, that's pretty cool. Arx Fatalis is another first-person RPG, and you would get access to it now. So, while you're waiting for Dishonored, you can play Arx Fatalis and be like, Oh, I can't wait until Dishonored! I'm so happy! Now, you have to pre-order the game on Steam. This is a very key piece of information. Unfortunately, I've heard that Arx Fatalis is actually a lot easier to play on Xbox, because there are really specific movements that you have to do that are easier with a joystick versus a mouse. It's a 10 year old game that I was totally into at the time. The UI and the mechanics are a little faulty, but it adds character that you don't see in games nowadays. Oh god. Go away. I hope you don't become a weird facet of my personality. Anywho, that is my show. Thank you so much for watching. If you have a positive or a negative response, feel free to leave it in the comment section. And if you want to have coffee with me, you can click wherever I put the annotation and it'll take you to my other channel. But otherwise, I hope that you guys had an amazing day, and I will talk to you again. What is today on Monday? Yes. Okay. Bye-bye. It adds character that you don't see in games nowadays.